six countries, six beers. BWS and Pedestrian present the world's biggest beer run to bring back the craft beer you voted for. And we've paid a celebrity to come along for the ride so you'll actually watch it. Oh, hang on, we haven't got the celebrity. Yeah, no, I'm the celebrity. G'day guys, I'm Ty Hara and we're going on the world's biggest beer run. Are you a celebrity? Yes. Surely you know me, Ty Hara. Home and away, hide and seek, dancing with the stars. Mm -hmm. Probably see me on bus stops. All right, cut that bit. We're going to go roll again, yeah? Yep, we'll roll again. G'day, guys. I'm Ty Hara. We're going on the world's biggest beer run, and our first stop is Japan. It's going to be epic. So you are a celebrity? Yes. I thought we were getting a real big celebrity. <sighs> With our celebrity at hand, we're off to Japan to find our first beer. After a quick ramen fix at Tokyo, we're on our way to Osaka to find one of their finest. What are you doing? Narrating. It's not how narration works, Malcolm. We do all that stuff in post. Over and out. In search of beer, we hit the neon streets of Don Tombori, where, surprise, surprise, I was mobbed by fans. Just remember in these kind of places, people are probably going to stop me a lot. Just roll with it, all right? It's just one of those things. Hi, right, nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> Coming in, guys, now? Nah? They want to get a photo with me. They a photo with me, probably. We're side! We're side! Is this for real? Got it. Excuse me, can I try any of the beers before I buy them? It's just that at BWS you can try anything before you buy it. Did you just try and put an ad for BWS inside an ad for BWS? No, I don't know. It's weird. There are thousands of craft beers in Japan, so we got in touch with a local beer master. steer us in the right direction. But before he takes us to his favourite brewery, it's Japanese custom to earn his respect and build a relationship. What are we going to have to do? Just like that, he's gone. Vanished. It was just there next to the bridge. Oh. OK. Nothing forges a bond like a montage. And we're now on our way to one of Japan's best kept secrets, Mino Brewery. Australia wanted us to bring back a fruity Japanese number. So here we are at Mino Brewery with Mayoko. Sorry, Mayoko, I, I should probably introduce myself. Taihara, um, Home and Away, Dancing with the Stars. Lots of big shows back home, yeah. Yeah, he's a big TV star deal. back home. Big deal. So he yeah. says. <laughs> we can't be sure. Nah, you can be sure. <laughs> can you tell us how you get the banana flavour into this? The banana flavour is a little bit of 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 a little bit So, Mayoko, the brewery was started in 1927. 1997. Yeah, that's what I said. Right? That's crazy because we were only kids then. This is a family-owned brewery, isn't it? Started by your father? Yes. My father was a liquor shop for 40 years. And then, when I was born 22 I Come No. Ah. So there you have it. The first beer in our six pack, the Minnow Wisen, an easy drinking, medium body beauty with just that subtle fruity hint of banana. Cut. Your logo's not showing. What? Let's roll up again. <clears throat> the Minnow Wisen, an easy drinking, medium body beauty with just that subtle hint of what is it, Mel? Banana. Banana. Yep. Tune in next week as we track down our next beer on the list. It's a lager. In the mountains of Peru, Bhutan. Paro. Anything else to add? Enter your details to win one of the world's most rarest six, six packs. Oh. Come by. Come by. Hey, that's a bit right away. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That's that dude from Home and Away. Did you hear it, Malcolm? <laughs> Malcolm, do you hear that? 